Welcome to the Right Handyman How-To Series. In these videos, I will show you some tips and tricks to help you avoid those mistakes that can turn a small project into a large disaster. I'll be your host, Colin, the Right Handyman. Okay, so what we got here today is a, a little bit of a hole in the ceiling. And this is for access to a water shutoff that goes out to the garage. Now, obviously, this is something that you're going to want to have access to repeatedly. So what you're going to want to do is create a way to have a door on there. And let me show you what I got. So what I've got is I've got this big panel here. Now what this is, is it's just a spring-loaded panel. Those two back ones will hook into uh, here like so. And then this one's spring-loaded, so you just push it up and put it in there. And obviously what i got to do is make this hole bigger, um, which isn't the end of the world. It'll just give you easier access to get at your uh, water shut off. These things are pretty slick, so all they do is this, this one leg will come back and you put it in the hole and it's spring-loaded, so you can kind of pop it in and out. Uh, no need to try and put hinges because how are hinges going to stay in drywall well? Uh, so these are pretty slick. So what we got to do is just measure out and find out how big of a hole we need, and then uh, we'll kind of cut it out and get it ready to go. So what I've done here is I've just kind of marked out roughly where this is going to sit. You know, I just give it a bit of a dry fit here. You can see that uh, this thing will more than cover that hole, so we should be good to go. So drywall is one of those fun jobs that uh, is kind of messy when you cut it, but this is a uh, special saw, it's a drywall saw. It's fairly coarse toothed, and it cuts on the push stroke, not the pull, and that's to help keep you from tearing out all the paper around here so you'll get a relatively smooth cut. So we've cut the hole out, uh, looking pretty good, it's kind of square. One thing you want to do, especially if you're doing this indoors and not in your garage, put down a painter's drop cloth to catch all the dust and stuff because especially if you have carpet, that stuff is very fine. It'll kind of get stuck in there. It's tough to vacuum out. All right, so we've got ourselves a uh, nice hole cut here. Unfortunately, there's a two by four in the way and I don't think it's structural. I think it's just kind of help holding up some of the drywall so we don't really want to cut that, but just give her a 90 degree turn, put those two legs in there, just push this tab in, voila, you have an access port to your turnoff valve. When you want to get in, just pry it down, push that tab in, away you go. Pretty slick. 